With Republicans set to take control of the House in January, the GOP will chair all House committees. Congressman James Comer he is heading up the oversight panel and plans to dig deep into the Biden family business. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales first told you about the investigation weeks ago, and now he sits down with a Kentucky congressman in a story you will only see on EWTN News Nightly. Congressman James Comer tells me right now he's working to get three recently fired Twitter employees to testify behind closed doors. The congressman said the three may have been working with the FBI in 2020 to censor the Hunter Biden laptop story. He also wants to know what then Vice President Joe Biden knew about his family's business dealings with foreign countries. I asked Congressman Comer, does he think President Biden is compromised? There's a lot of evidence that would suggest that. A lot of bad decisions that are being made every day. Bad decisions like he says the president failing to stand up to China and wanting to dismantle America's energy policies. You go back and you look at the evidence that we have that's public with respect to the influence peddling and one would wonder is this administration making decisions that aren't in the best interest of Americans because of the millions of dollars they've received from our adversaries in China Russia, Ukraine, and the Middle East. Congressman Comer tells me documents and whistleblower evidence shows influence peddling by the Biden family, from Biden's son Hunter to his brother Jim to even Joe himself. Congressman Comer says one incident involved Hunter Biden's company Hudson West was working with CEFC, the Chinese energy company, to get them to buy American liquefied natural gas and purchase an interest in the drillers. The Bidens were helping them navigate the bureaucracy. That's very concerning. Then you see Biden try to embrace this crazy Green New Deal. China wants the United States to have the Green New Deal because that puts the United States at a further disadvantage to China in manufacturing and everything else. And while the Biden administration would be trying to implement their Green New Deal, you would have China coming in if, if they're initial plan had been successful and they would start owning our, our natural gas industry. This is a national security threat. President Biden has denied he knew anything about his family's business dealings. Congressman Comer is now following the money, communicating with banks, attempting to gather suspicious activity reports from the Treasury Department. We know Joe Biden lied about his knowledge of what his family was doing. We know that Joe Biden lied about his participation in what his family was doing with respect to influence peddling. Now the question is, was Joe Biden benefiting financially from the Biden shady business dealings? So how much money are we talking about? We want to know exactly where all this money went that Hunter Biden and, and Jim Biden was taking in. I mean, we think it's between 11 and $31 million. Where is all that money? Congressman Comer tells me what he uncovers may result in criminal referrals and possibly more. I'll keep you updated. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.